Mike, obviously, first of all, Saturday just gone, obviously a, a postponement there um obviously not ideal for you to want to get games in and keep momentum going at the minute but i suppose on the positive side with it coming quite early you've had a, a chance to you know turn attention to tuesday over the weekend yeah yeah like i said disappointed we wanted to get the game on um but yeah like i say straight away our attention turns to uh to wrexham obviously we know um, how difficult it's going to be um and yeah uh, we've had a couple of good days prep and tra training so looking forward to it and how are you looking ahead to tomorrow night's game? Obviously, Wrexham are one of the, the few teams in, in action at the weekend, so a bit more for you to review on them specifically. Yeah, yeah, we, we got to, to watch it back. Um, yeah, they're just a, a winning machine, aren't they? So they've got, got good players, um, experienced manager. We know all about them, um, and we know it's going to be difficult. But say over the, the, the last week, we've just been focusing on ourselves and how we want to play. Yeah, and in terms of... Obviously, them coming here, I suppose, with you being on a good bit of momentum, I'm assuming it's a, a challenge that you'll be relishing in, you know, taking on a, a team that's flying high top of the league and, as you say, have been winning in, in all kinds of ways and, and finding ways to get over the line this season. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like I say, we always want to test ourselves against the best and the biggest clubs that we can. Um, and this is certainly um, going to be one of them. You know, they're... They're a massive club, um, and uh, they've they've got league players. I think the whole squad, you know, are league players. So it'll be a great test for us. We're looking forward to it, and um, just got to focus on how we play. And a new, well, new familiar arrival, I suppose. Back end of last week, obviously Philip Marshall coming back for the rest of the season on loan from Villa. I imagine a positive having someone coming in who kind of knows you already and knows how you're going to want to play and can fit in quite easily. Yeah, yeah, hundred um, percent. Obviously, you know he, he was fantastic last season for us. Great lad, fits in with the group. Um, and yeah, when the opportunity came up, it was a no-brainer. Really, obviously, Monty, he's been brilliant. Um, obviously, coincidentally, he's not been well, so he hasn't been training in the last few days, um, and he won't be available for tomorrow. But yeah, like I say, you know, Phil, Phil did fantastic for us, and he's been with their first team, so he's only been improving. Yeah, and I suppose for him coming into a a high division now stepping up obviously having played in the, the National League North last season something that comes along with that obviously bigger fan bases bigger crowds atmospheres it's never seemed like something that's kind of phased in playing in front of big crowds or anything like that like that last season so I'm, I'm guessing that's another reason to to bring him in and, and fit in yeah 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 like I say he's uh we know how good uh, he is with his feet, his distribution, obviously his goalkeeping is top notch, but um, I think his strength is his, uh, his personality, his mindset, um, regardless of what happens in games, um, he just gets on with it, he's got that emotional reset and uh, yeah, like I say, it was, it was fantastic to get him back. Yeah, and you mentioned obviously Monty unavailable with illness tomorrow, but how's the, the squad as a, as a whole looking going into tomorrow's game? Yeah, good. Um, healthy, obviously, you know, got uh, a few lads that have gone out on loan um, at the minute. Yeah, it's like I say, it's really, really competitive, exactly what we want. And uh, it's pushing everyone to, to improve and be better. Yeah, you mentioned, obviously, those those couple of lads going out on loan. Dan Jarvis to, to Hereford played on, on Saturday for them. Obviously, Lorac going to Boston, their game got postponed, I believe. But obviously, always a, a difficult one when you've got a, a big squad and lads are having to miss out. But what went into to letting them to go out on loan? Um, this is the hardest part of uh, you know football. I think is when you're a player and, and you're not getting the minutes that you you want. Um, it is difficult. It's hard, and I just think you know two two great lads. Um, and like I say, it was it's for both of them. They just want to want to play football, and for me as well. I think to get to the levels that we know they can achieve, um, it just made sense. And um, yeah, like I say, two two good clubs they've gone to. So like we say, them going there, getting minutes, um, will only benefit them uh, and ourselves.